So the difference between a genome and an exome is that the exome is a subset of the genome. It is only 1% of the entire genome, but it covers, I want to say, over 80% of all of the genes that are expressed, therefore exome. So the exome is where we get most of the genes that actually function, that have a responsibility, that help in, in keeping us functioning. There obviously is the role of other genes you know, that may not be expressed. Those can modify uh, the expression of some of these genes from the exome. But to really give you the most simple and easy to follow understanding of it, the genome is all of your DNA. Uh, the exome is 1% of your DNA, but it is that 1% that accounts for over 80% of all disease-causing genes. So an exome sequencing will give you a lot of information that could actually have clinical utility. The whole genome sequencing is really the most comprehensive test that you can ever get in genomics. But it takes a lot of time uh, because we have to sequence these many alphabets. It also is analysis heavy because we have to then interpret all of those alphabets. And sometimes it can be much more expensive than an exome as well. Some people choose to get a genome test done if they have, you know, perhaps if you have the time um, or if you have the money uh, or if you're just scientifically curious, you could definitely go get the whole genome sequencing. It's not something that is typically recommended for clinical purposes. There are a few exceptions, of course, uh, and which is why a pre-test genetic counseling appointment is important. Uh, we have a video about what pre-test genetic counseling is as well. You should definitely go take a look at that. But most times when a doctor orders comprehensive genetic testing, it is of the exome variety because we'd be interested in analyzing the genes that express themselves and keep you healthy. And that would be the long-winded answer for what is the difference between a genome and an exome. How will a genome test benefit me, whole genome test benefit me? The whole genome test is an extremely comprehensive test. It, the whole genome sequencing test is an extremely comprehensive test. It analyzes all the alphabets of your DNA, uh, all trillions of them, and it gives us a lot of in-depth understanding of what your DNA is made of. The biggest benefit really of getting a whole genome sequencing test done is that you will never have to do any other genetic test ever again for the rest of your life. So this is data that is never going to change. And as and when genomics as a field evolves, we are then able to compare new findings, new discoveries in genomics, and we're able to then compare the data from your DNA with that to give you updates as and when relevant. So the biggest benefit of doing a whole genome sequencing is first of all, it's the most comprehensive test, but more importantly, also from a more clinical perspective, in the future, there might be genes that are discovered and, and known to play a role in disease causation. And if you have a whole genome sequencing uh, done already, you will never have to do it again because it's an easy comparison. Also, while the majority of uh, genetic illnesses are caused by changes in genes that are expressed in the exome, we know that sometimes there are modifier genes outside of the exome. Um, there are other kinds of genes outside of the exome that can also sometimes play an important role in, in clinical manifestation of certain kinds of genetic changes. So that is also sometimes a time where whole genome sequencing is appropriate. Uh, an appointment with a genetic counselor will help you understand really more um, we, an appointment with a genetic counselor will give you a more in-depth understanding of what whole genome sequencing is and what whole exome sequencing is. And we can probably answer your questions more at length. So look at our video about what pre-test genetic counseling is, and we definitely make sure that we answer all of your questions.